What's up guys, Fuji here, and I welcome you back to another episode of No Flare Terrain. If you didn't realize, this series is released uh, during weekdays, so Monday to Friday. Don't expect this series to be out on the weekend, but cracking on with the episode, and we needed an informed sentiment to be brought into our side, and Paul Bogba ticked all the boxes there. You lads requested for me to go and purchase, and that's exactly what we did, so dropping him into the team. But this episode, I want to talk about a few things, especially hitting 6k subscribers, lads. That is awesome. Thank you ever so much for that, and just talking about the Xbox One now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say, yeah, I've actually pre-ordered it, but it was such a headache. Like, I left it very, very late. Let me know if you're getting the PS4 or the Xbox One in the comment section below, actually, lads. Uh, but I left it very, very late to uh, pre-order, and it was only today that it popped up on Twitter. I think it was Ruan from Footwiz who, who actually posted an ASDA link, and I saw it was day one edition, including the uh, download of FIFA. Now, it's all right. It's all well and good that it comes with FIFA, but I prefer the disc version. I mean, I don't know about the download. I will still get it. I will still redeem it, but I was very happy to actually see it was in stock and as soon as I pre-ordered it it went out of stock so I was very lucky and very very quick with that but there was a problem with my uh, credit card or debit card when I ordered it it said something like um, this transaction uh, cannot be verified or something and then I got a call I was at work and I got a call saying uh, hello <laughs> I, was, I don't know what was going on but then it was an automated service to say can you enter your date of birth and all that into the into the digits just to say that you are the person spending 429 pounds which is not a bad price you know because I was going to get it through as uh, through Argos, sorry. Uh, if those that do live in the UK, then I suggest if you haven't pre-ordered it, then go onto the Argos web website the night before and and just pre-order yourself uh, an Xbox and you'll be able to get it the well, day release. So uh, if you've got any questions with that, do let me know and I'll try and help you with it. But back on to the episode. And uh, yeah, we were playing quite well in this first game. We came up against quite a nice side, but we, we were winning by the one goal and it was more or less a, a very, very hard sort of dragged out game. It, it was a good player and I was finding it hard to uh, create chances but here in the 90th minute beautiful skip from Balotelli and to finish it the keeper got his hands to it but it was too powerful for him so 90 minutes we do get the goal and it does finish off at 2-0 for us and the first goal which El Shirari saw uh, scored that you probably did see hopefully that you saw and you're not listening to this in the background but yeah he um he got the goal and it was a very nice little bit of dribbling from him but Buffon in that game he was playing so well and he deserved the man of the match performance but as um we can't really upgrade to an informed goalkeeper we're gonna have to upgrade to the next highest rated uh, which was El Shirari and that's very upsetting to see him leave the club but one player I really did want to uh, try in particular with this guy from Florentina uh, Cuadrado he is well his pace is ridiculous and hopefully he can he just doesn't not only have pace hopefully he can provide us with some nice ability on the ball uh, also make some good runs and and let's see what his shooting is like I've heard a few people say that his shooting is a bit iffy so we We'll soon find out. But look at that. What a way to start in the eighth minute. Mario Balotelli with his arms cross a celebration. And this game felt so much more easier to attack and to create space. And look at that. Kendreva. What a fantastic ball though to split up David Luiz and in the back of the net. 11 minutes in and we're already two goals up. And as soon as we got those early goals, there was only one winner in this game. And it was only a matter of time until I got the third goal. And look at this. A bit of the deflection. Tevez on the end of it. And what a beautiful, delicate chipped finish in the back of the net. And the third 36 minute and his signature celebration at the wiggle of that arse. But half time did come around. Yoshi Toad was that his club name, really? Yoshi Toad. But another thing I want to speak about is about 6k subscriber lads. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, I remember when I was on like 500 subs and to hit 6k, it is just so good. Thank you ever so much for the support. I was supposed to actually do a 5k sub video, but I apologize for that. I just had so much on my plate, especially with the 24 hour live stream, which I did do. Uh, I just couldn't get around to it. So hopefully, <laughs> I will be able to get one done for the 6k subs uh, and so what I want you lads to do is put in the comment section below hashtag ask Fuji and ask me a question that you want to well you want me to answer and find out about me uh, so yeah do let me know in the comment section below and also give me recommendations on the player which we are going to be upgrading in this episode but moving back to the game just to quickly uh, catch it on the uh, well the remaining minutes and he was through but again Buffon was not going to be beaten in this episode he was unstoppable crazy player really do recommend him at four time did come around and it was 
kill to the YouTube Fuji 720p. <laughs> we killed it, to be honest. We played very, very well yesterday, which I when, when I did actually record this episode. But moving into the ratings, let's have a look. Oh, that camp position. Tevez is out the club. Who should we bring in? We need an informed player, informed gold. Let me know in the comment section below. But as unfortunately, the episode has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comment section below the uh, well, the, well, the answers to the questions that well, I asked you to ask me, basically. Let me know what questions you want to find out about me. Um, and just all those juicy, jazzy information that you want, you want to know. You know what to do, lads. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. If you can leave a like and show your support, that's ever so much appreciated. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button for daily FIFA 14 content. Take it easy, lads, and see you tomorrow. Peace.